Hello, my name is Jing Yilu. I'm a senior undergraduate studying quantitative finance at National University of Singapore, and I'm applying for the Master of Science in Mathematics and Finance program at New York University. In this video introduction, I like to describe my mathematical modeling experience. After I learned that the famous Black-Scholes model has its roots in heat equation in mathematical physics, I was surprised by the power of mathematical modeling, and my interest in it has developed ever since. I have completed many projects in mathematical modeling. For example, in Mathematics Context Modeling 2012, our team was the outstanding winner, which is the top 10 out of more than 3,000 teams around the world. We were also the Ben Fusaro Award winner, which was the best team with noteworthy originality and creativity. Our model was called Geometrical Tree Model. It is an integrated model that can be used to solve a number of problems, for example, classification of tree leaves, and study how sunshine affects the relationship of leaf shape and branching structures, and also calculate the total leaf mass of a tree. In particular, in our geometrical tree model, we have a core model called the vector tree model. It uses linear transformation to simulate the whole structures of a tree. And we also have factor controlling submodels. For example, we have a sunlight model and sunlight exposure rate based on mathematical physics. And it models the amount and intensity of light that the leaves of a tree are exposed to. And we also have an optimization model that finds the best combination of leaf shape and tree profile. And in order to calculate the total leaf mass of a tree, we use an index in biology called the leaf mass per area ratio. Our whole model was simulated in MATLAB, and here is a snapshot of our results. Given different set of parameters, we can simulate different kind of trees. For example, here we have a normal tree and a crooked tree. And here we have a pine tree, which is commonly used for Christmas trees. And we have a poplar tree, which is commonly seen in the northwestern part of China. And in the middle, this is some data analysis that we performed. I have also completed many other projects in mathematical modeling. For example, in mathematics context in modeling 2013, our team was a meritorious award winner. We modeled heat distribution across a Brownian pen using partial differential equations and solved shape optimization problems using integer programming. In Singapore Actual Science Case Challenge 2012, I was in the second runner-up team, and our team designed a micro-insurance health care plan using knowledge in regression analysis and discounted expected cash flow. And in my mathematical modeling coursework, I have built a continuable fission model using knowledge in ordinary differential equations. I believe my experience in mathematical modeling will be very helpful for my career in quantitative finance because I have learned how to effectively draw on tools in different areas of mathematics and, of course, other relative areas such as statistics, physics, and computing to solve practical problems. This is essentially the idea of quantitative finance, and I have greatly improved my skills in mathematical tools. And also my analytical skills, modeling methodologies, and creativity will be a great asset for my endeavor to become a quantitative trader, to build mathematical models, identify trading opportunities, manage risk, and study new products. Therefore, I believe I'm a strong candidate for the mathematics and finance program at NYU. My name is Jing Yilu, and thank you very much for your consideration.